My dear sewing friends, it's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity and today I have a super special, very young and also very particular guest at my sewing machine and that is my daughter. Now the goal for today is to make shorts that are super easy to draft, super easy to sew, but most importantly really fun and comfortable to wear. Previously on the channel, I have shared with you guys how to draft shorts slash culottes, joggers, leggings, and sweatpants, but today I'm sewing for my little one. Now this drafting method should be good for toddlers age and up. Obviously, the more we get into the teenage territory, the more I would stick to the adult drafting practices just because we get more shapes and more curves. But these shorts are really great. They're not too loose, they're not too tight, they're just right. So let me share with you how I made this really easy pattern. To get started, we will need three very simple measurements and the first one is going to be full waist circumference. Now here's a little tip. To make life easier for myself when I draft things for my daughter, I just assume that her waist is at the level of the belly button. Show me where's your belly button. Here. Here. All right. And that makes it so much easier in drafting, so much easier as a reference point and so much easier in fitting as well. Now the next thing that we want to do is we're going to measure around the fullest part of your hips. For this next and final measurement we will go back to the waistline or the belly button line in my case. So here you will need to grab a piece of elastic or maybe a string of yarn, anything that you can tie around your child's waist and make sure that it actually stays in place. And then find a flat surface where your kiddo can go ahead and take a seat. Now we want to measure the distance between the surface on which your child is sitting all the way to this elastic cord. So go ahead and take your ruler, place it like this, and and then just find that spot where it crosses, where the elastic actually crosses your ruler and record that spot. And for me that would be about six inches. convenience reminder, especially for those who really don't like using inches, I hear you, but in this case it really doesn't matter because you're going to be taking your own personal measurements. So it doesn't matter whether you take them in inches or you take them in centimeters, the math is going to stay the same. If I am going to be using any sort of measurements where I say take about a quarter of an inch up or a quarter of an inch down, you will see the conversion on the screen or you can also find it in the info box below underneath this video. Video. I'm starting with a simple geometric shape like rectangle where the top is one quarter of a hip circumference and the side is the full measurement of crotch depth. Next I need to determine the total length of these shorts and extend them by the necessary amount. And I know that three inches below the crotch line is really great for my kiddo. Now for you that might be a completely different number. You can go ahead and grab a measuring tape and measure from crotch down or take a look at other garments that you already have at home and see what length you like there. Now this is going to be the base for both the front and the back pattern piece. So I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this rectangle. Let's do the front pattern piece first. For the crotch extension I will take this measurement which was one quarter of the full hip circumference. You can measure that and here you can see me switching back to centimeters just because it's so much easier to do the math. And divide this measurement in four. So this little extension that is sticking out from this rectangle is one quarter of this measurement right over here. Now take this measurement and divide it in half. So go ahead and make that mark. And now we're going to create a really nice smooth curved crotch line. If you have a French curve that will help. If not, not a problem at all. You can do it by hand just like I'm doing it right now on your screen. Next. Let's go ahead and talk about the bottom of our shorts. Go ahead and take about one inch away from the crotch extension. This number can vary, so just see what you like best. And take a straight perpendicular line down. Now let's go ahead and connect this little bit right over here. 
and then we will create the inner leg seam. So what you can do first is connect it with a straight line, but a curved line always fits a little bit better. So what I do here is I just curve it in just a little bit like so. Next thing that I want to do is to lower the top just by quarter of an inch. And you can see the conversion on your screens. Next, what I want to do is to add some width to these shorts. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one inch to the side seam. And the reason for it is because number one, kids grow so fast. And I also find that my kiddo likes to have clothing that doesn't really fit too tightly and it's easier to move in it. It doesn't really get too hot. So I think something that's a little bit looser will work really great. Now the front pattern piece is ready. Let's move on to the back pattern piece and the steps are going to be very, very similar. So it makes it super simple. First, the crotch extension. Take this measurement and divide it in half. So for the front pattern piece, we divided that in four. This one is just half. So this is half of this measurement. And then divide the top measurement in half, just like we did for the front pattern piece. And before we do the crotch curve, let's go ahead and lower the top of the pattern just like we did for the front pattern piece. So go ahead and mark one quarter of an inch from the top of your back pattern piece. But here, instead of doing a straight line, we're doing something a little bit different. So we're actually going to angle it in order to allow more room in the back for buttocks. So go ahead and angle it like you see me do on a screen. And now we're going to take half an inch away from the center back. So here, take half an inch like so. And now go ahead and connect these two points with a straight line. Again, that is to fit the back of our bodies a little bit better. Now we're ready to move on onto the crotch curve with a nice smooth line. Here we go. The next thing that I want to do is I want to make this pattern one inch wider at the side seam, exactly the same way that we did for the front pattern piece. So let's just go ahead and do that really, really quick. There we go. And the last thing that we have left to do is to do the inner leg seam. Just like for the front pattern piece, I'm gonna go ahead and take about an inch from the crotch curve extension, take a straight line down, and here, we just want to make sure that the inner leg seams match in length. So go ahead and connect these little bits like so. And I do the inner leg seam and after that, I compare one to another to really make sure that they are of the same length. So that way when we sew everything together, everything matches really well. Once pattern pieces are cut, there's one last thing for us to do before we're ready to rock and roll, and that is to create the waistband. And that is really easy and straightforward to do. Take your pattern pieces, put them side seam to side seam, and then just measure the top of the pattern piece from one point to another. And that is going to be half of the length of your waistband, because obviously we only have two pattern pieces here, but in reality we have two pattern pieces for the front and two pattern pieces for the back that will make up the shorts. The width of the waistband is going to be twice the width of the elastic that you're going to be using for these shorts and add about, I would say, quarter of an inch of a little bit of wiggle room so that way you're not really forcing that elastic through there. And that's about it. Here's a quick little tip. As you have noticed, we've been measuring from waist down. If you would like these shorts to be mid-rise or even low-rise, you will need to cut off a significant amount from the top of the shorts. Otherwise, they'll be sitting right there on the waist. Now here you might have noticed that my pattern piece for the front looks a little bit different than what we actually drafted in the beginning, and that is because I added pockets. Now, um, my daughter is very particular about pockets. In fact, I made these really cute cactus shorts for her from my old t-shirt. Where's, where's pockets? Where's pockets? There's no pockets. 
And I could definitely see disappointment on her face when she realized that there's no pockets. Now I have a very detailed, super simple, super straightforward tutorial on how to make pockets and how to adjust your front pattern piece for pockets as well. And I will leave the link for that tutorial in the info box below. In order to not to make this video super long and for your convenience so that way you can look up these tutorials in the info box below individually. Before we get into cutting the fabric, I would like to say thank you to the members of the channel. Thank you so much for your support. I definitely couldn't be doing this without you. And as always, check the community tab for perks. And this video is also sponsored and made possible by Skillshare. Now I've been working with them for a while and can totally vouch for them. And I love to paint as some of you might know, and I have created quite a few painting compositions thanks to Skillshare. Now, if you're not sure what Skillshare is all about, Basically, it is an online learning platform where you can learn either a new hobby or get a bit more in depth with a current one. And it's full of thousands of classes on a variety of topics. We're talking, you know, all things creative and even lifestyle and photography and of course sewing. Now, if you're new to sewing, I would recommend a sewing basics class about making your own clothes by Denise Barron. She shows how to do basic things like the tools that you will need and how to go about basic seams. The atmosphere is definitely well suited for learning as Skillshare does not feature any ads and classes are well structured and you can try it for yourself. So the first 1000 people to use my code or click on the link in the info box below will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So definitely take advantage of that, explore, and who knows where your creativity is gonna take you. Now, before we cut, we need to know three things. Number one, fabric. The fabric that I use is knit, so it stretches. It is 95% cotton and I believe about 5% elastane, which is what you would usually make a t-shirt with, but you don't have to buy exactly that. This one I got at Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love it. Now you can use woven fabric without stretch, but then you have to make sure you have enough ease in your garment. Number two, follow the direction of the stretch that you see on a screen and you will need to cut two front pattern pieces mirrored, two back pattern pieces also mirrored, and then the waistband on the fold. Now, if you're not sure how to cut your fabric and how to position your pattern on the fabric, I have a full tutorial for it, so I will leave it for you in the info box below. And number three, I draft all my patterns unless otherwise stated without seam allowances. So as you can see right over here, I added them as I was cutting my fabric. Also, if you're not sure how to work with knit fabric on your sewing machine, what needles to use and what stitches to use, I have a guide for you underneath this video and you can totally do it. So please don't shy away. Now I'm going to zip through very quickly the assembly steps as I have a separate tutorial for each one of these steps. And I know that sometimes people get bothered when I say, you know, there's, there's another tutorial or a separate tutorial for this or that, and you will find that in the info box below. But each one of these tutorials takes a very long time to put together. And unfortunately, I just can't repeat and show the same information every single time that I make a tutorial. So forgive me, that is just counterproductive. Therefore, I have created tutorials that will go over the basic steps. So that way you would be fully equipped with the steps that you need to know. So first, if you're making pockets, finish the pockets first. Then I move on to the side seams. So we're placing the right side to right side, front to back, and we're sewing the side seams. After the side seam, I go ahead and I finish the hem. But if you'd like, you can also leave it as the very last thing to do. I just find that on the smaller garments like this one, it's easier to do the hem first than last. Then we need to sew the crotch and join the two pant legs together. The last thing for me is to add the waistband with the elastic. And ta-da, your beautiful shorts are done. And I think my little one is very happy. Now, if you want to see how to make a super easy circle skirt, click on the video that you see on the screen and I will meet you there. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy thoughtful sewing. Bye.